I have made a lot of videos, and in most of those videos, I've ribbed on Twitter saying it's a hell site, no one should use it, and that's pretty much the standard opinion for every single other YouTuber, because no one likes the website. It is basically a free platform to harass other people for free. And also, it goes without saying that the discourse on Twitter, basically, no one has any opinion where they agree with each other. It really has become a complete battlefield, because you can be damn sure that no matter what your opinion is on that website, Someone else will definitely have another opinion, a different one, and let you know about it. But what I want to talk about today is something of a Christmas miracle. Because there is a gimmick account on Twitter that has actually got into quite a bit of drama. And the conclusion to the saga is insane. So as you know, there are a lot of gimmick accounts on Twitter. Some of them are funny, some of them aren't so funny, some of them are completely unbearable. Usually what you'll notice is with the downfall of a lot of gimmick accounts is they'll they'll do a gimmick, like post an old video game or post something that's poorly aged. What you'll notice with a lot of gimmick accounts, their downfall is usually when they insert personal opinions in between their tweets. I mean, you might follow a gimmick account for hilarious laugh out loud memes, some kind of ironic memes, stuff that gets poorly aged, but once in a blue moon, a lot of these gimmick accounts do tend to, you know, the mask slips a little bit and they start inserting their personal opinions into their tweets. Now, I'm not even going to go into detail about what some of these accounts say. They could be talking about real world issues or, you know, just their opinion on something. But the reason why people don't like it is because you followed because they're a gimmick account. And once they start talking about, you know, their personal beliefs or opinions, you just kind of go, uh, I think I'm going to unfollow. Because the problem is, when you have an opinion, an opinion is, by in of itself, an opinion, which other people are going to disagree with. So usually, the best thing a brand account can do is just stick to the hilarious, quirky memes and not really deviate from there at all. And today's video is about the man, the myth, the legend, Vlone Predator, and his username is Pilgrim, with like the nerd emoji face. Now, by the name itself, you can already tell that this is a deeply ironic account. For example, like Vlone Predator, that obviously being a mockery of the clothing brand, and Vlone and how like pretty much no one over the age of 12 wears it unironically. Obviously, I'm giving you full permission. Anyone you see in public, anyone you see in school, college, if they're wearing a Vlone shirt, point at them and laugh. Yes, you're getting the permission from the pasty white kid that still doesn't know how to do his hair at 26. Now, the reason why Vlone is so hated is probably because the logo to make it stand out is just really really apparent. Usually with a lot of Vlone merch, they just stick this huge obnoxious V on the back of the shirt, basically the equivalent of a bat signal. Now with a lot of merch, companies tend to keep the logo kind of subtle. I mean, Guess, for example, has the question mark. Louis Vuitton has like a little LV. Burberry has like an interlocking chain. But then Vlone? You know someone's wearing Vlown. That huge V on the back of it, you can see them a continent away. So like I said, Vlone Predator, this guy is obviously just running on complete irony fumes. And if you haven't looked at this guy's account, now you know. So his entire gimmick is basically quote tweeting someone, uh, usually a white person, and then saying, here is what you would look like if you were black or Chinese. I'm not really sure what the point of this is. I mean, for example, here you've got, you know, mother and baby pics where the mother... What, what, what was that captured? Anyway, uh, mother and baby pics if they were black or Chinese. And he's obviously done it on the, the mother and the baby as well. Now, here is a very interesting one because he posted his own icon saying, here's what my icon would look like if I was black or Chinese. Now, what this guy has been doing constantly is baiting like... Basically, communities that you do not want to mess with. For example, uh, Taylor Swift, uh, the Swifties, K-pop stands. The kind of people that if you say anything in their general direction, they will come to your house, end your life pretty much immediately. A good example of that is him doing this edit of Gypsy Rose Blanchard. If you don't know Gypsy Rose Blanchard, she was convicted of second degree murder, of murdering her mom, but obviously there was a lot of circumstances around it. For example, the fact that her mom was basically keeping her prisoner for years upon years, treating her daughter like she had some kind of degenerative illness when she wasn't ill at all. It was basically a complete psyop to trick her into thinking that she had a condition and she could never be social, never leave the house. She killed her mother, was convicted because obviously, you know, it's still murder at the end of the day. But now Gypsy has recently came out and she has a huge following. And the first thing this account does, here is what she would look like if she was black or Chinese. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not really sure what the gimmick is, like where it originated from. Now, looking back at his older tweets, he was not doing this black or Chinese bit at all. He was basically just doing like random gimmicks, random memes. What a lot of these gimmick accounts do is they quote tweet because quote tweeting is going to obviously get a lot more attention than replying. If you quote tweet and then you do like a little snide, a little jab, that's going to be, you know, a lot more attention. 
We finally found it. We found patient zero. So this was the 7th of December, 2023. So here is what you would look like if you were black or Chinese. That was the first instance. And I think you had to apologize because the person deleted their account. Now you can see that that one actually did numbers. So he has basically kept repeating the same gag over and over and over. Now, obviously what's happened, there's been a lot of drama because, you know, maybe some people don't want to know what they would look like if they were black or Chinese. Some people might interpret this this meme or edit as racist. Wait, is that Mark? Is that Mark? Wait, did they get Marquez Brownlee? Marquez, I, I don't even know how to say his name. Like Will Smith butchered it so badly. I don't even know how to say his name anymore. Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. Mark Ass Brownlee. Is that Mark Ass Brownlee? Oh, it is Mark Ass Brownlee. I mean, here's another good example. You know, you've got Jeremy Allen White who won the Golden Globes. Amazing actor. He was in The Bear, which is an amazing show. I really recommend you watch it, mostly because each episode is only like 20 minutes long, which is so refreshing because so many dramas or like shows that you watch now, they go on for like 40 minutes to an hour. It, it's too long, but this is like perfect bite-sized episodes and so much happens because it's so compact. I mean, I, mean I, I could waffle on about that all day, but here is another example. Here is what Jeremy Allen Black would look like if he was black or Chinese. Now, at one point, a lot of people on Twitter weren't happy with this meme. They thought it was, you know, very offensive. And one of them, of course, usually with the egg profile picture, went ahead and basically doxxed the guy, posting apparently a picture of his front door with his home address and then his full name and then a picture of his face. I'm obviously going to blur out the house and the home address because if it is legit, you know, I'm basically helping dox this kid. But I'm going to show a picture of his face in the dox because this is very, very important. Now, usually if a gimmick account or just anyone in general gets doxxed, they might quit the internet entirely. They might run away because it is a terrifying thing. That is basically your home being put out on the internet. Who knows what's going to happen? Who knows what kind of psychopaths are going to show up on your door? This guy, Vlone Predator, he did not care. He did not care in the slightest. Because here he is doing a quote tweet of the actual docs saying, here is what I would look like <laughs> if I was black or Chinese. <laughs> now, I, I don't really think it matters whether you find the meme offensive or not. I really think it takes massive balls to kind of commit to the bits so much that even though you have like your entire house put up online, it's like, you know what? Hold my beer. I'm actually about to make this situation a lot worse for myself. One thing I do want to point out as well is that was by no means his final tweet after the doxing and after him basically making a mockery of it. He's still going on. And you know the funny thing is the, the meme was actually that bad that the account got suspended. So the person who doxed him basically got reported that much. He got blown off the internet. But even after the doxing, he's still going strong. I mean, for example, here, here's what you would look like if you were black or Chinese, Stephen Hawking. I mean, the edits, he looks like he's kind of melting a little bit. There's also been some uh, mentions of Stephen Hawking as of late that aren't very good. So he knows when to pick his targets. Uh, here's another tweet. My wife would have been 95 this week. This is the picture that was in my breast pocket when I was blown up. It is complete with shrapnel holes. So you got her smiling there. And then you got... <laughs> Here's, <laughs> Here's what your wife would look like if she was black. <laughs> it's just such a, it's so moronic. This could actually be the meme of, you know how like every month there's a meme that just circulates? This could actually be the meme of January because I can't think of anything else right now apart from like the Epstein list or something. But that one's great. Like imagine pulling out, you know, like th this this memory of like your wife when you fought in the war and then some some kid on Twitter, some little doe faced kid is like, yeah, no, this is what she'd look like if she was black or Chinese. <laughs> But yeah, that, that, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Uh, I know this is like the sloppiest of sloppics, but I'll be honest, I could have done a video about the Logan Paul stuff, about the Epstein list. Uh, I could have talked about that kid as well, that one Tetris, but like y y you've already seen it on Critical's video or Ordinary Gamer's video. Like, come on, let's be real. Y y you don't want to rewatch that. This, <laughs> this is content. <laughs> yeah.